Happy Wednesday, Wednesday, everyone. So uh, I just finished up at my gym. Um, some of you may know I, I started getting into more uh, jiu-jitsu and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And so uh, I decided to go to the gym first to think about how I'm going to present this book to you. So this book is called Finite and Infinite Games by James uh, P. Cars. I was introduced to it by one of my uh, mentors from afar, Seth Godin. I went through his... Uh, program in leadership and business called the Alt MBA and they talked about this book and it's a really fantastic book and the reason why is that it gives you an idea and it, and it sort of reframes your perception of the world around you so let me put the book down for a second now here's the difference between finite games and infinite games so a finite game is something like when I go and uh, uh, go against somebody in jiu-jitsu there's going to be a winner and there's gonna be a loser there's uh, rules that we have to play within and there's of course a, uh, a hierarchy Okay, and the whole point of that game is to win it, and so that others don't come come and enter it. Another great example of that is when you are in line, for example. There's a hierarchy there, or there's a um, a set of boundaries that you have to play within, and there's going to be people who are ahead and people who are not. When you get to a traffic light, you know, again, somebody goes, somebody doesn't. Now, what about infinite games? Infinite games have no boundaries. You know, while society is something that's a finite game because there's boundaries and rules that you have to play within. An infinite game is something like culture. It's only about the horizon. And so in jiu-jitsu, even though there's a finite game, right, a winner and loser, the infinite game is playing it in a way so that it invites more people. So at least, you know, from my approach to it, I play an infinite game when I'm in jiu-jitsu because I open myself up to a culture that invites people of all different levels to uh, spar against me people who are more experienced than me, who are above me, who know that when I'm rolling with them, I'm not going to take things personally. I'm looking to grow and learn from them. And also from people who just started, who might be belts lower than me, who can see me as someone that they can learn from and grow with. Right. So, the, you know, I, I really encourage a lot of professionals to get this book, you know, maybe read it, you know, in the mornings and start defining your finite and infinite games. Of course, those things are all around us. But the most important part is what are you doing to start moving towards an infinite game where you only see the horizon to invite more players in and expand the culture that you're within. So that's the book of the week. Happy Wisdom Wednesday and I'll see you next week.